when my brothers come to jihad and feel the honor we are feeling, feel the happiness that we are feeling. This new and very glossy recruitment video, which looks professionally shot and edited, was produced by ISIS in English. It's tailor-made to appeal to Americans and other Western jihadists. It features a 20-year-old British medical student who's traveled to Syria to wage jihad. What prevents you from attaining martyrdom and the pleasure of your Lord? Look around you while you sit in comfort and ask yourself, is this how you want to die? Analysts fear strategies like this may be working. It's very significant that ISIS is using English. That means they have ambitions to attack uh, Western countries. These videos attract certain people, young people, who find violence exciting. Last month, Munir Muhammad Abu Salha, a 22-year-old from Vero Beach, Florida, became the first American suicide bomber in Syria. ISIS released clips showing the attack, declaring the feat of victory for them. U.S. officials say dozens of U.S. citizens are already in Syria. They're worried not just about the Americans currently there, they're even more concerned about the ones who might come back and plot attacks against the homeland. To that end, Twitter has become a front line in the propaganda war ISIS is waging. Many fighters claiming to be British constantly tweet updates, urging like-minded Britons to join them in Iraq and Syria. One asks, how can you see pictures of babies blown to pieces with their brains all over the floor and then question us about why we come here? Another posts, families in the villages taken over by ISIS are slowly returning and settling in and are happy and relieved to see ISIS occupying. And then there's YouTube, where a steady stream of clips are posted. Like this video, purportedly showing ISIS supporters around the world standing in solidarity with a group so brutal even Al-Qaeda has disowned them. Experts suggest that even though the propaganda is making waves, ISIS should be seen for what it really stands for. It is really important to treat this as you would a, a deadly virus. If there was a deadly virus anywhere in the world, it is threatening to all of the humanity. So it needs to be treated as a, a virus that causes genocide. Wolf, it was just last month you and I were discussing a really brutal video showing ISIS going on a horrific killing spree uh, throughout different provinces in Iraq. Well, the terrorism experts I'm speaking with today are saying that it's not really a surprise that ISIS is somewhat shifting tactics. They believe that if they show this softer side that they're trying to present now, that they'll be able to get more foreign recruits.